what is up everyone welcome back to my channel today's video we're going to be talking about keyboards that are under 200 dollars including modifications switches so on and so forth i decided to make a video like this because honestly i think the days of getting custom keyboards that are costing to about 500 dollars are over there's a lot of good keyboards out in the market and these are some of my favorite starting off with 40 percent and making our way up we're going with the Echo ACR Top 40 40% keyboard is one of my smallest keyboard that I own. I bought it a few months ago and honestly, it's easily become one of my favorites. Since this is a keyboard kit, you do have to buy keycaps and switches on the side. The keyboard itself does retail for about $89.99. I was able to find switches for less than $20 as well as keycaps for about $22, bringing our total to $130.99. The only modifications that I've actually done to this keyboard are adding foam as well as lubing my switches. And I think that for less than $150, it sounds really good. Let's hear it. Next on my list is the Cito B65 65% mechanical keyboard. If you told me this keyboard was custom made that cost about $500, I would 100% believe you, but it's not. I actually was able to purchase this off of Amazon for $130. I've done no modifications to this because it just sounds so good. We do have a aluminum body and it does weigh quite a lot it's probably one of my heaviest keyboards weighing it at about 1342 grams 45 ounces or two pounds and 15 ounces as i mentioned before this keyboard is completely stocked i've done no modifications to it it does come with cork matte switches and pbt keycaps in this gray beige color it gives it more of a retro feel but honestly it is one of my favorite keyboards it's small it's compact it sounds great i think that for 130 dollars you honestly can't get a better price with that being said let's hear how it sounds Next on the list, we have the GK Gamma K TK75 75% mechanical keyboard. I've spoken about this keyboard so many times on this channel because it is also one of my favorites. For just $89.99, you get a mechanical keyboard with a media knob, RGB lights. It is such a great keyboard. It is also retailed as a silent mechanical keyboard, which is the reason why I ended up switching out the switches to the Aqua Cream Yellow. I also switched out the keycaps to these Gamma K astronaut themed. Here's a quick sound test of this keyboard. Moving on to bigger things, next on my list is a full mechanical keyboard. This is the Ajaz AK966 mechanical keyboard with a media knob, a numpad, and isolated arrow keys. This particular keyboard retails for $140, which is again, 
so good because I've done absolutely no modifications to this particular keyboard. It comes with kale cream switches, which kale switches are actually some of my favorite switches because they tend to sound so good. It has three layers of foam for sound absorption, as well as MDA keycaps. Without any further delay, let's hear how amazing this keyboard sounds. Last but certainly not least on this list is probably my most expensive mechanical keyboard in my collection. This is the Fecker Alice 98 mechanical keyboard with an LED screen. I purchased this off of What Geek for about $156. I was able to save some, but it originally retailed for $210 with a LED screen and simply just $200 without one. This is also my most unique keyboard as it is a Alice layout with a numpad and a media knob. I mean, you can't get any better than this. Because of the unique design of this particular keyboard, I knew I couldn't pass it up. It also comes with Kale winter switches, which again, you guys know Kale are my favorites. But without further ado, let's hear how this sounds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which one was your favorite. Also make sure to check out the description for any links that you may have missed. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.